I, I consider myself like average, like a four. So uh-huh. honestly, how would you even know if you're the pretty one in your group if you think all of y'all kind of look nice? What do you mean? How would you know if you're the pretty one in your group if all of you guys look nice? Yeah. <laughs> but you just said... That's, you, that's so you, serious. You, rank your, you said you rank yourself where? I consider myself to be a four. Okay. And is that average, above average, or below average? Um, average. Okay. Okay, if... If four I mean, is, obviously, you can judge for yourself. <laughs> if average is if, if if four is average, and what's above average? Um, like six and sevens. On a scale of one I'm, to I'm, ten, I live, I live in Tallahassee, Florida, so I don't. Florida is weird. <laughs> well, no, Tallahassee. Not everything down Tallahassee is Tallahassee is still in the United States, so there's no way a four is average, ma'am. A four. Five would be right in the middle, right? Okay. Half of ten is five, right? Yes, sir. So how can four, which is less than five, be average? I don't really, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I am. Like, I listen to your show a lot, and I feel like I fall in line with that. I'm not sure. You fall in line with what? I feel like I fall in line more with the four or five. Okay. Um, because clearly I'm not on like nothing like Beyonce and well, Rihanna okay. and all that. But, but but your question was, how do you know who's the pretty one in your group when you feel like you all look good? Or something like that, right? I feel like we're all average. Yeah. Okay. Well, why would there be a pretty one if you're all average? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's like, you know how you were saying, like how, you know, with your pretty fan, they're the ones who get you in the VIP. They're the ones who yeah. get you all the free drinks and, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I thought you was going to speak. I'm listening, I'm talking um, to you. Okay, so um, because of that, I was like, well, that's me, but how do, you know, oh, you it's get, just, you like get I said, it's kind of happy, so you get it's people not like in the it's... VIP and free drinks? Yes. Okay. Um, Tallahassee. That where, what school is in Tallahassee? Florida University of Florida. Um, I wish go Gators. Or no, it's, Florida, it's State. Um, Florida State, and it's uh, FAMU. All right. So are you from Tallahassee? Uh, no, I'm from Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> All right. How old are you? I'm 37. Uh, how tall are you? I'm 5'4". Dress size? I'm a 16. <laughs> All right. So, um, generally, the women I'm talking about, they can get in the VIP in Los Angeles, in mm-hmm. Miami, in New York City. Uh, mm-hmm. You're saying you get into VIP in Tallahassee. Could you get into VIP in those cities, do you think? I don't know. I never left the South. <laughs> well, what do you think? Um, I think so, because, you know, like I said, I'm not unattractive. You know, I usually get hollered at all the time. But um, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Um, ma'am, um, do you think, do you think New York City, Miami, or L.A. are more expensive than Tallahassee? Um, definitely uh, the LA and uh, New York. I really can't speak for Miami. Miami I have some friends more from down there. Too. Okay, but so, so people likely also make more money there too. There's more money going through those places. Yes. So that means there are going to be more powerful men there. And yes, more sir. Beautiful women. So yes, sir. If you are thinking that in Tallahassee you would have the same amount of pool in in L.A. or New York City, I'll tell you no. Okay. Because there's far more competition. Um, and there has to be more competition. I mean, I don't, I don't know what kind of clubs you're talking about in Tallahassee either. Uh, but typically, the women we're talking about are women who are 8s, 9s, and 10s, not 4s and 5s. Yes, sir. So... Is it that you're saying you're a four for the broadcast or you really think you're a four in life? I'm saying, I'm saying I'm a 
saying, honestly, based on what I've heard from you, I but just feel you like think, maybe what, that's where what I am. Would you rank yourself, though? I mean, if, if I had to pick myself, I would say that I'm a sis, but I've seen girls call in that I thought was, you know, decent. And okay, some of before, them my, before my broadcast, though, before my broadcast, what would you have thought? Before I ever met you, uh, <laughs> I thought I was a seven, but you said that's not a thing, so that's why I have to say six. So if you weren't a seven, that would have made you what an eight? Before you, no, before you heard about would have made me. Yeah, I'm definitely. I would definitely call myself a six before I met you. A six? Or seven? Yes, sir. Actually, you just said a seven, but because I said there's no, no a, a six, six yes. Yeah. And see, that's the reason I don't. Well, like yeah, you said seven. there's no such thing as that's a seven. That's why I don't yeah. like sevens because it allows women to overrank themselves. Sevens allow women to mm-hmm. overrank themselves and and not live in reality, and and push themselves higher than they are. Do you have any children? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so at thirty-seven years old, uh, five foot what four? How five four, yes. Five four. And how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? Mm-hmm. Um, geez, last time I weighed myself? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's been a minute. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I think the last time I weighed myself, I was like 180. I was, no. I was sort of know, I'm an guard, so I know we have to keep 16. it. At least not a dress size 16. You haven't been yes, 180. Not a, not a dress size 16, not the five foot four. Well, I was 16s and 12s, so it's it's like no, 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 a split no, digit. Okay, I need you to listen, okay. Um, yes, sir. Women, t- women typically don't weigh themselves because they're not really happy with what they see on the scale. Now, 12 or 16, um, looking at you, you 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 are in, you look like you're in excess of 200 pounds. Say it again? You look like you are you look like you are in excess of 200 pounds. And a, dress, <laughs> no, and a dress size 16 at five foot four. Um, yes, sir. Would put you uh, that just an approximation. And this is important because it's one thing to to think um, you're you're one thing or another, but it's also it's something to for what the world looks at. When's the last time you yes, act- actively worked out? Um, today actually. <laughs> um. We all started I mean, like the, the New time? Year's resolution. About this? When was the last time you were a healthy weight? Say it again, sir. When was the last time you were a healthy weight? Like uh, 125 pounds. I'm not sure, sir. All right. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Uh, in short, how would you know if, if you're the, a good-looking one of the group? Uh, I think it's yes. reasonable to say that you may be better looking than your friends, but I think you also know that there are women who are much more fit and much more attractive than you. Yes, sir. Those are the women I'm kind of referring to in this broadcast. All right. Okay. Have a good night, ma'am. You too. Thank you. Uh, bye-bye. See why I don't allow you see why I don't allow sevens? Because when you allow sevens, it just allows for more and more and more and more um more delusion. <laughs>